All right, guys, we're back. Hey, guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. We are waiting on our tub. Our tub is coming in from northern Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma, for a matter of fact. We're having it delivered today. So I was just building this up because we've got quite a bit of a slope here. Let me show you guys what we're dealing with. We're going to have a tub sit right here. It's a 10 by 10 left hand swing tub. Going to have an opening there and a loadout opening. And this is something that we needed to do. It's going to be an official, official tub. But our ground is unlevel. We've got this old concrete runway from the old dairy barn that existed here way back when. But we got to get a level because it's going to sit on square tubing, is what the foundation is. It's going to be a lot like this um, when that tub gets here. So, problem is, is in order to get this level, we're going to have to bust out this concrete. There was an already broken seam here, and I'm basically just using that busted seam and chipping away at it because we've got to have that tub sit right here. And then it's going to go back this way. So, we got to get to work on this. And it is zero fun. Dang, look at that piece. Yeah, there's rock underneath it. Yeah, I put rock on That's it. a rock. Jeez Louise. Right, we got our tub some of y'all looking at it saying dusty what in the world is going on here well it is on its side that's the way it had to be hauled you saw how the tractor put some pipe on it lifts it up the trailer just pulled out from underneath it and then 
a John Deere set it down. But uh, this is it. Got a cornerless tub, swinging gate, basically. And uh, we'll we'll get this set up. What I like about it already is it is heavy duty, which is why I had it custom made. And uh, it, he uh, he he made it bison proof. So we're uh, we're gonna Kevin and I are gonna get this thing rolled over, and we're gonna get hauled over to our area. Where we're gonna set it down for our handling system, get it in position. So what's going on now is I'm pulling the tractor around and uh, we're uh, we're gonna try to pick this uh, tub up. We've got it in sort of position, but we got to pick this tub up and um, level it. It's on uneven ground. There's a slope here on this, so I've got to uh, Kevin and I've got to level it. So I'm gonna pull through the alley into our big alley where Marissa and I and Kevin put up the sheets of rubber and uh, see if we can get this thing level. So we're back for day two. I uh, can see right there, I got the car jack out trying to balance this thing. We're dealing with some bad slope. Got the welder out, brother in law's, Arms Family Homestead. But I've got to get this thing level. There's a major slope from here down that direction from east to west. So <laughs> I've had to weld on some extensions, as you can see down there. Well, some extensions on just to balance this thing. Then I'm gonna bring a rock back in once it's level and get this thing packed in. So it's a gradual plane for the bison so they can come in the tub area and go right down there. Still got some work to do, but sometimes you gotta come up with some engineering. Sometimes you do what you gotta do to balance things. <laughs> Kevin and I use rocks and an old cinder block to balance this out just to keep it up, give us some anchor points. So I'm coming back through and welding these extensions on to level it out. And then we'll deal with our gradual plane down that way. Oh boy, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks.
Well, hey guys, well that's it for uh, what a long weekend of working. Getting this tub set and it's so nice to finally get it set. Got some rock hauled in here and uh, Kevin and I worked hard on getting this thing level because the ground does slope from east to west and uh, you know, you could spend a lot of money getting all this level and whatnot, but uh, we had to do a little bit of makeshifting work and uh, we made it happen. I uh, can't wait to use it. Uh, Doc told us last year, and you can hear him say it and in one of my videos when we worked the bison, and we got Big Joe in, we went back and reviewed and talked about um, some adjustments and things that we needed to do uh, for this property or for this handling system. And he said, you need to put a tub here. And so got a tub made just to fit it. And I mean, just to fit it. So, I mean, it was close. We barely got it in there. But uh, we leveled it out, got some rock in here, and the bison will eventually stomp it down some. We'll have to refill it, and uh, that's okay. We have a couple little things left to do. Um, maybe put on a new gate and whatnot. Still got to get some more rubber to put on the siding, and we'll be ready to rock. But the main thing is, is we got this new tub, and I can't wait to use it. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. A lot of hard work, a lot of sweat. I want to thank my... I want to thank Kevin and I want to thank my wife for, for all the help um, doing all this and give me the time to do it. And one of the things that I'll do, uh, part of this is I'll show you how this works. Um, I'll do it in one of the, uh, the videos upcoming. I'll show you how this, um, it's actually a cornerless tub. I didn't mention that, but I, I should honor that. But this is a cornerless tub and not all tubs are like this, but that means those bison can't get in any corner. And uh, just like it says, a cornerless tub. So when you push them around, they'll be able to go out too late, two ways. We've got a loadout area and an area for the alley. So I'm gonna show you how to do this um, in a later video so you guys can see um, why it's so important to have a tub and um, why we got it and then how it's used. So we are so close to working the bison and uh, you guys know it's always exciting whenever we do that. And uh, this one will be a little bit different this year. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching us. If you haven't, follow us along.